Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a Lego Ideas video. Today we are looking at the brand new set, set number 21339. This is the BTS Dynamite set. It has 749 pieces and will be retailing for $99.99 USD or $129.99 Canadian. The release date for this set is sort of interesting. Here's an exact quote from Lego. The release of this set in early March is in no way linked to South Korea's Independence Movement Day and our Lego stores have been approved to list the product for sale from the start of the month at their own discretion. So some stores probably in other countries will be actually having this release on March the 1st, but I'm, it sounds like South Korea will not have it on the 1st, however, but the set itself there is a lot to go through here. I really did not expect, I think, a lot to be included. So let's go ahead and let's get started. I want to talk about the figures first, since that's obviously, I think, what most people are excited for. And I think that you're going to see with just the hair pieces and some of the face prints, it's just so diverse. And I think it's so great. And speaking of diversity, I'm really not sure what the skin color is used for these figures are like some of the renders make it look like that newer one that was introduced last year with the mandalorian and then others just make it seem like it's the regular lights flesh color i really don't know what to think if i'm being honest like the exact same figure i can look at two different pictures and the lifestyle images look like it's the regular one we've gotten for years i really don't know what to think but Anyways, we'll go through each of the figures, talk about their different outfits. So we're going to start with my personal favorite one, and that is the one that has the Superman hair there in bright blue. My hair, I love that so much. It looks great in that color. I love the torso printing as well. That looks so cool. Really, really detailed with all the stars and everything. Got some necklaces. Love the sunglasses too, how they've done that. The printing there is awesome i love the wink it looks great and then you've got this other generic smile there on the other side which i think looks pretty cool and i really love the dual molded sleeves if that is a new skin color be really perfect for like an ian malcolm in a jurassic park set that's rumored to be coming out later this year i think that'd be perfect but i again can't really tell anyways moving on now we've got a really detailed figure two brand new hair color the harry potter hair there in dark orange looks great love the facial expression there with the mouth open you can see a bit of the tongue and coral love the polka dot shirt there really awesome you got a necklace there and then the other expression you can see is this closed mouth next up we've got a brand new hair piece i believe this is being introduced in a future friend set really love that in dark brown looks great the face i think that it looks great i personally this is the one out of everyone here that works the best for shang chi because man he got the short end of the staff literally with that figure just being reused for so many different faces i think that there's a lot to pick from here that are, are more better suited for him but the reason i I'm saying specifically this figure is because there's this second face where it's like sort of more of not an open smile or anything like a concentrating face. Love that a lot. The torso really love the vest, the blazer, the shirt and the necklace and all that really great. Then you've got this face, which to me, either the last one or this one could be used for Shang-Chi. Love the torso printing there as well with the sunglasses. And I've checked all of the pictures. I think they're the only one to only have the one face. I can't seem to find anything else. Next up, we've got the dog trainer hair there in dark tan, which looks cool. Love the face. Got just the smile as well as the second face is this like smirk, which is pretty funny looking. I, I like the jacket there that they've got on and the necklace and everything. Then you've got the Han Solo hair there in dark tan. I love the face with the smile, a bit of the tongue showing, as well as you've got uh, the suit with the tie. Looks cool. And the other face is this winking expression. Really, really cool. And then lastly, we've got the new hairpiece there in black. Really love that. Great smile there. And then the other facial expression. Got like this open mouth one guess to, to eat a donut there or, or of course singing but i love the torso there really detailed love the pattern there on that jacket really impressed by the figures but there's still so much to go through with the set because they're recreating the actual music video which is 
super unique and something that a lot of people on ideas seem to jump onto the bandwagon to do things for, especially with Taylor Swift and it reached 10K really quickly as well. Anyways, we're going to go in order here from right to left. So starting here, we've got a basketball court on the outside of the record store. Really love the design for the basketball net. I think that's fun. Love the palm trees as well as the sticker there in the back for the graffiti and the painting. Looks really cool. And the sticker on top of the actual basketball net is really great. And then the actual record store. Love the sweet music sticker up at the top. The records and CD there and even the different stickers there with the buy sell and then the one on the door like these have so many uses and then you go on the inside and it's even crazier there's so many references I assume that a ton of these are the album covers obviously I know the one is for dynamite I think that looks so cool what a just fun concept to have that included inside of the record store Again, there's so many things here, even some Minecraft pieces there, some other paintings that we've gotten before in other sets. But you could tell that there's some, obviously, the ones that have stickers are direct references. Again, not, not a fan, so I can't be like, oh, this is from this album and all these different things, but really cool. Then on the outside here, we've got the, I'm not sure, it just says disco. I You've got a door there that can open up inside of like this huge parking lot there. You've got a fire hydrant. And then also like a meter, I think, for parking your car. Anyways, you go on through and you're on a stage. I think that's really cool. You can remove the stage there and you've got some cool looking uh, stickers on the wall panels. And then you've got lights. The stage, again, is removable. And I love how that looks with the BTS symbol there in the center. The speakers and the fact that it can like hold all of the figures on stage. It's a really cool concept. I think that's a lot of fun. And then the next bit there, you've got the donut shop, which looks pretty great. Honestly, I like the architecture here and everything. This is probably my favorite part of the build. Just the neon sign there for the open and the door and everything. The donut, it's, yeah, it's interesting. It, it sort of is really simple. I would have really loved those specific donut pieces that they introduced from City to be used there. But I still think that's a lot of fun on the inside. You've got a couple really cool stickers, Specifically, like the menu looks great and you've got just so much different things there in the fridge and everything. Really fun. And on the outside, you've got a couple of pylons. Love the builds for that. Those fez parts there and the cones look great. You've got a little donut and coffee sign. I love the arrow build up at the top. And then also included is an ice cream truck, which is super unique. I didn't expect that for sure. It wasn't a part of the original submission, I don't think. Really fun. I love the ice cream melting on the top. There's the parts that they used for that. The truck itself, though, is pretty simple. Seems like sort of four plusy, I think. But, you know, I still think that it's simple. It's great. Again, this set is going to be a lot of people's first ever Lego set. Like, there's just people that buy every merch and stuff for BTS. And this is going to be no exception. This was the most liked tweet ever by Lego. Just a teaser and i'm just so blown away by the reception of this already it's not even out yet anyways i also got to mention this because i know i will get comments last ideas video i did people were asking this where shrek what happened with it we will not know until the end of summer or the beginning of fall like that's just how long the process takes until we find out if lego is going to go ahead and make the set i just got to mention it just because i know people are going to ask it but anyways everyone what did you think of this set? Are you going to be picking this up in March? Are you going to wait for a promo like myself? I think that's what I'm going to do because I'm just so excited to get all of those figures to diversify my city, my collection. So excited. The skin color is being used and this new hair piece is fantastic. But anyways, everyone, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you will have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.